This is a recipe for motorhome meatloaf. The recipe for motorhome meatloaf includes one chopped onion, a packet of taco mix, two eggs, brown sugar, mustard ketchup, cheddar cheese, Mrs. Dash salt free garlic and herb powder, 90% or better uh, ground beef, and a piece of bread. We will begin by mixing the ground beef, bread, onion, taco mix, eggs, uh, mix that together along with the Mrs. Dash. Then for a glaze on top we're going to use some mustard ketchup and brown sugar and finally we're going to top it off in the, with some cheddar cheese. We're going to put all that in a Dutch oven and get it into the oven um, for about a half hour. Okay now we have the mixed ingredients uh, in there including everything that we talked about. the. Uh, uh, the hamburger or ground beef rather, a uh, piece of bread, onions, Mrs. Dash, taco mix, and the eggs. Uh, once we get that mixed, then we'll put the uh, sauce, well we'll actually put this in the uh, Dutch oven and then we'll make the sauce and put the sauce on top, followed by the cheese. Okay, now that we mix the uh, mustard, ketchup, and brown sugar, we're making it into a sauce that we're going to put on the in the uh, top of the uh, ground beef. Just like that. And we usually put the cheese on while it's in the oven. We don't wait until it's done. We just throw the cheese on top right from the get-go. So the next thing, once you get a nice little layer of uh, the sauce covering this. The last step is going to be the cheese. And we just put the whole bag of cheese in. There we go, just like that. The more cheese the merrier. Okay now we're going to put the top of the uh, Dutch oven on and now it's going to go it's going to go into the oven at 350 for maybe about a half hour and then we'll see what we got. Well after about 40 minutes uh, the uh, meatloaf looks like it's done so we're going to scoop some out and see what it looks like. The reason that it's important to use 90% or greater lean uh, ground beef is because if you use hamburger you know the 70 or 80% stuff it's just going to be too greasy because the grease does not drain off here. You can garnish it with a little bit more ketchup if you'd like, or just eat it as it comes out of the uh, Dutch oven. <laughs>